but on the GigaPress, uh, we were completely forced to redesign the system. Tesla just unveiled the GigaPress 2.0. In a significant leap towards enhancing performance and reducing the production costs of electric vehicles EVs, Tesla has announced its transition to GigaPress 2.0 technology. This strategic move not only cements Tesla's position as an industry pioneer, but has also piqued the interest of automakers worldwide, with Toyota closely monitoring this transformative development. But what is this new technology all about, and why are other automakers concerned about the new development? The GigaPress is an impressive aluminium die casting machine integrated into Tesla's manufacturing facilities in the United States, China and Germany. These colossal machines possess the capability to craft aluminium components of unprecedented size, surpassing anything previously witnessed in the automotive sector. It's worth noting that Tesla has a penchant for naming its production facilities Gigafactories, hence the term GigaPress. Some other automakers have opted to refer to these machines as megapresses, a moniker that denotes their substantial size, even if not on par with Tesla's behemoth. The Gigapress operates by injecting molten aluminium, often exceeding a weight of 80 kilograms, into a mould where it takes shape as a crucial automotive component. Subsequently, the part is released and rapidly cooled. However, Tesla uses a proprietary aluminium alloy, which eliminates the need for the conventional heat treating process to enhance cast part strength. This technological marvel is poised to revolutionize the EV manufacturing landscape, and automakers across the globe are scrambling to catch up with Tesla's innovation. But what sets GigaPress 2.0 apart, and how is it redefining the automotive industry? Tesla's remarkable profitability in the automotive industry can be attributed to its ingenious approach to manufacturing, marked by a reduction in parts, cost savings and a simplified production process. Notably, the adoption of single components in key areas has been a game-changer for Tesla's bottom line. For instance, in its best-selling Model Y, the use of a single component in the rear of the vehicle led to a remarkable 40% reduction in associated costs. In the case of the Model 3, integrating a single piece in both the front and rear of the vehicle allowed Tesla to eliminate 600 robots from the assembly line. This not only lowers production expenses, but also reduces the overall weight of the vehicle, a critical factor in the world of electric vehicles, where battery packs can exceed 700 kilograms. Moreover, it has the potential to curtail waste and greenhouse emissions at manufacturing plants. Toyota anticipates that embracing the new GigaPress technology will enable them to eliminate numerous sheet metal parts from their assembly lines, thereby reducing waste. Tesla's dominance in the EV market primarily revolves around its two main models, the Model 3 and Model Y. The high sales volume generated by these two platforms justifies Tesla's substantial investments in cutting-edge production technologies. Many other emerging EV startups also share this advantage. However, investing tens of millions of dollars in new casting technology can be more daunting for established automakers with intricate product portfolios and already amortized factory machinery. It's worth noting that vehicles with body sections cast as single pieces may pose challenges in repair after accidents, potentially leading to higher operational costs for EV owners. Nonetheless, Tesla remains committed to this innovative approach. While it's true that insurance companies are already writing off EVs with slight battery damage due to the lack of repair options, Tesla is forging ahead with this technology. They've combined a series of innovations to achieve a technological breakthrough that could revolutionise electric vehicle manufacturing and bring Elon Musk closer to his goal of halving production costs. Tesla has been at the forefront of automotive innovation, notably pioneering the use of the first GigaPress with an astonishing 6,000 to 9,000 tonnes of clamping pressure. This technological marvel transformed the production process of the Model Y by employing a giga casting technique that significantly reduced production costs. In doing so, Tesla left competitors scrambling to catch up. Now to further solidify its lead, Tesla is on the brink of introducing another groundbreaking innovation with the new GigaPress. This innovation aims to revolutionise electric vehicle manufacturing by enabling the die casting of nearly the entire complex underbody of an EV as a single piece, a stark departure from the approximately 400 parts typically found in a conventional car. 
referred to as the unboxed manufacturing strategy, this approach was unveiled by Elon Musk in March as a crucial component of his ambitious plan to produce tens of millions of affordable EVs in the next decade while maintaining profitability. Although Tesla has provided some insights into its unboxed model, detailing the simultaneous production of large sub-assemblies of a car that are later integrated, the specifics of these modular blocks remain shrouded in speculation. Terry Wojcicki, the president of US engineering firm Caresoft Global, underscores the transformative potential of Tesla's endeavor. If Tesla succeeds in gigapressing most of an EV's underbody, it could disrupt the traditional car design and manufacturing norms. While the implications for the industry are enormous, the task is undeniably challenging. Gigapressing, especially with sizable components, poses considerable difficulties. Tesla's history of innovative design and manufacturing techniques has already enabled the company to develop a car from scratch in 18 to 24 months a stark contrast to the three to four years typically required by rivals. With the introduction of Gigapress 2.0, which utilizes a single expansive frame that integrates the front and rear sections with the central underbody housing the battery, Tesla aims to apply this cutting edge technology to its upcoming small EV. This vehicle will hit the market with a remarkably affordable price tag of $25,000 in the coming months marking yet another milestone in Tesla's pursuit of accessible electric mobility. The key to Tesla's recent breakthrough lies in the revolutionary approach to designing and testing molds for large-scale parts and the incorporation of hollow subframes with internal ribs to enhance weight reduction and crash safety. These groundbreaking advancements, the brainchild of design and casting experts from Britain, Germany, Japan and the United States, involve the ingenious use of 3D printing and industrial sand. Traditionally, automakers have been hesitant to venture into casting increasingly substantial structures due to what's been termed the gigacast dilemma. Creating moulds for parts exceeding 1.5 square metres in size not only escalates production efficiency but also entails significant costs and many potential challenges. For instance, once a sizeable metal test mould is crafted, making adjustments during the design phase could amount to a hefty expense, with each iteration costing as much as $100,000 or, in some cases, necessitating an entirely new mould which could reach a staggering cost of $1.5 million, as reported by casting specialists. The entire design process for a large metal mold typically adds up to around $4 million, a sum that has been deemed prohibitive by automakers, especially considering that multiple iterations may be required to achieve a flawless die in terms of noise and vibration, fit and finish, ergonomics and crashworthiness. However, Elon Musk's vision from the outset was clear to find a way to cast the entire underbody in a single piece despite the formidable challenges involved. To surmount these obstacles, Tesla sought the expertise of companies specializing in the creation of test molds using industrial sand and 3D printers. This innovative approach involves depositing a liquid binding agent into a thin layer of sand using 3D printers known as binder jets. Gradually, layer by layer, these printers construct molds capable of die casting molten alloys, all based on digital design files. The cost associated with the design validation process utilizing sand casting, even with multiple iterations, is minimal, amounting to just 3% of the expenses incurred with metal prototypes. This means that Tesla can fine tune prototypes as many times as necessary swiftly producing new iterations within hours, thanks to cutting-edge machines from companies such as Desktop Metal and its unit X1. In automotive design, subframes in a car's underbody are typically hollow, aiming to strike a balance between weight reduction and enhanced crashworthiness. Traditionally, these subframes are manufactured through a process involving stamping and welding multiple parts together, ultimately leaving a void in the center. However, Tesla is set to revolutionize this by incorporating hollow subframes into its gigacasting process. To achieve this, Tesla's ingenious approach involves placing solid sand cores created by the binder jets within the overall mold. The sand cores are removed once the casting process is complete, leaving behind the desired voids. However, there is one challenge. Gigapresses with high clamping power typically cannot accommodate the 3D printed sand cores required for creating hollow subframes. 
To address this issue, Tesla may opt for a different type of press that allows for the gradual injection of molten alloy, a method known for producing higher quality castings and accommodating sand cores. However, this approach does come with the trade-off of longer production times. Ultimately, Tesla faces a pivotal decision – prioritise productivity with a high-pressure press or opt for a slower alloy injection process to prioritise quality and versatility. As it stands, the choice remains uncertain, but Tesla may prioritise faster production times. What do you think Elon Musk will do about this? Comment below and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. That's all from this video, see you in the next one.